What's up everybody? Jesse, Salah City Fishing. Uh, today we're at Riverfront Park. Uh, I'm at the Hagen Out Coastal Outfitters uh, demo day. A lot of my YouTuber buddies have been getting Old Town kayaks. And uh, you know me, I'm a big Hobie fanboy, but I recently sold my Pro Angler and I wanna come down here and check out some of these kayaks, man. Particularly the Predator and the Topwater, man. Uh, so, got my GoPro, we're gonna go talk to these guys, make sure that it's cool, and uh, we're just gonna ride these boats, man. I brought a fishing rod with me too, so not planning on catching anything, but I kinda wanna see like the stability, like casting out of these things, but, uh-oh. Yeah, man, let's go check out these kayaks. Yeah. What's up, dude? Good. How's it going? Good. Y'all have uh, got a lot of traffic today? Yeah, we, we pulled up and like there's people waiting already. No way. You want to try anything out? Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to do like a shootout between like the top waters and the yep. predator. So they're out there. We have three of them. Okay. Yeah, man, uh, no rush. I, your customers are way more important than me shooting a video, so. Just whenever they're not using them. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, you don't gotta call me sir, man. Let's have it. your YouTube channel, man. I'll give you a shout out. Um, Assassin Fighter 1. How, say again? Assassin, Assassin Fighter 1. Assassin Fighter 1. And Assassin you... Space Fighter. Gotcha. It has like a, like an Assassin, you know, Assassin's Creed. Yeah, man. So it's like that, guys. Okay. I'll find it, man, and I'll put a picture of it up. You have like four subscribers. Oh, yeah? That's cool. I usually stream on Mixer. Well, I got like 2,500, man, so I'll give you a shout out. Yeah, yeah man. Bye. See ya. Nice yeah, you too. All right, y'all, we're out here. This is a Topwater PDL 10, I believe. It's just some quick things about it. This drive, very easy to put up and stow. I was kind of concerned about that, but nah, man, just drops in. That's pretty sweet. The uh, pedaling. So like your Hobies, you do like, you know, this whole number back and forth. It was kind of weird at first, but now that I'm used to it, it's totally fine. And uh, this thing is fast, man. For a 10 foot boat, it tracks really well too. It's got your gear tracks already installed on it. That's sweet, especially for me. Like I can put all my kayak booms on there or uh, camera booms and everything. It's got adjustable seat. These mesh pockets, I actually installed those on my Hobies, so it comes with that. That's pretty awesome. I like how it has a molded in handle, a waterproof hatch up front. And uh, it's definitely fast, man. Check it out. Man, it's definitely faster than my PA12. I dig it, man. So, for me and my style of fishing is uh, like standing up and sight casting. Let's check it out and see. Yeah, no problem standing up. We got a little slight chop right here. Still totally doable. Definitely not as stable as my PA12, but 
I'm 210 pounds and uh, I'm not having any problem like fighting this thing. I've seen a lot of uh, reviews for kayaks, like at demo days and stuff like this, and they're not fishing, man. Like, if you go to a demo day, definitely bring out your rod and reel, because if you're looking at a fishing kayak, how are you gonna know if you can fish in it if you don't try? But, yeah. Uh, definitely not enough time for me to like give you a super com comprehensive review on it, but this is my first time actually ever in an old town. And uh, I'll tell you, man, it's pretty sweet. Let's check this out, man, this instant reverse. Dude, stop on a dime. Let's spin some circles. So I'm not actually like, oh, there it goes. There's too much wash trying to turn while going. Let's see what's up with this little pocket right here. Oh, it's got a gasket, so it's waterproof. I'm gonna close that back up because they got some documents in there. This is like a brand new kayak. Yeah, dude, I definitely would use this. This compared to a Hobie, man. For one, it's like, you know, way less money, probably a thousand dollars less than a Hobie. And uh, I'm kind of digging the compact size, man. I don't know if I'd want to take this out in big water, but for right here, this is pretty sweet. So this is the PDL 10. Let's swap out and try a different one. That's pretty cool. It's a beast for sure. This is 13 foot long? Yeah. Okay, now we're on the Predator PDL. I can already tell you, this one is faster for sure. Which is expected because it's a longer kayak. The longer your kayak is, the better it'll track and the more speed you'll have. Uh, this seat's a little close up for me, I can tell, but that's fine. But these things are sweet, man. So this guy has a dry hatch, which is cool, like that. Here's your scuppers. Let's see how easy it is to pull that up. And then let's try some paddling. So, yeah, man, on uh, my groups and pages, there's a lot of Hobie Pro staffers, and every time I post something talking bad about Hobie, man, they go nuts. But we've had uh, a Hobie Compass, two Outbacks, and two Pro Anglers. And uh, we fish a lot of shallow water stuff. And like everybody says, like in the Hobie, you can flutter your drive by putting the fins close up to the hole. Dude, you go slow, slow doing that. Like it's better just to pull up your drive. And this drive being able to pull up just vertical, it's actually really nice. It's kind of cool that it's like attached also, so you don't got to worry about it like coming off. I like that. So yeah paddles really well it's actually very smooth way easier to paddle than my pro angler way way easier i just realized i got this paddle upside down looking like a straight noob all right so we did the pdl 10 our topwater pdl 10 this is the predator 13 i like it man i really do i liked it there's these things the starboard you can mount whatever kind of stuff you want on there. I wonder if there's a fish finder mount on the bottom. Let's do some casting. 
that uh, the top water 10, it was definitely stable, but I would like it to be a little, little more stable. But that's kind of one of those things though, man. Like if it's uh, lighter and easier to put in and out of the truck, you know, that's, that's the compromise you make. Like the stability is definitely gonna be in your bigger kayaks. But for me, the lighter and easier it is for me to transport, the more I'll end up using it. Okay, so right off the bat, this one is more stable than the PDL-10, no doubt about it. <laughs> How do I turn that way? Okay. Yeah, you're good. Here, do what I do. You got the rudder in your hand? Okay. Yeah, and then just turn it in the direction that you want to go. Other side, other, it's on your, yep. That's the rudder control. <laughs> the way you want to go. If you want to go left, turn it left. <laughs> no, I'm just going for it. <laughs> yeah, that brings it up and down. <laughs> Like, yeah, the front of the board. See that hole? That is what down to your Oh, here. Yeah, so you just run your wire straight down You just put like a through hole fitting for the battery? Yeah, yeah. Forgot to get a cord off yet. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Forgot I took my cord off because it was funny. I want to like try it. to get in. I do kind of want to try that, dude. I don't know if somebody's uh on it. Let me get it. All right, here's the top water 12. This might be the compromise for me, man. Man, I'm not gonna lie. I actually like this drive. I do a lot of like recumbent bike exercising anyway. This is like right in my wheelhouse, man. They said that all these have transducer mounts in them already. I love it that they have the, uh, the rails on it. So I just saw something blow up over here. Let's cast on it. <laughs> So obviously, I'm not really trying to catch fish, man. It's high noon, high, high uh, sun, clear skies right now. It would be a miracle to get a topwater blow up right now. But I'm really just trying to illustrate how easy it is to stand up and cast. Uh, like I said, man, I'm 5'8", about 210 pounds. And you can see I'm standing and casting in this, no problem. I'm not gonna lie though, man. I think that the Predator was the most stable one out of the three. This is very nice though. For me, another big thing, we'll ask them once we get up on shore is the weight of all of them. But for me, compared to uh, the weight of a pro angler, like this, this is pretty nice. It's definitely comfortable. I'd be freaking stoked to have one of these, especially for that price point. The thing with Hobie, man, is like their prices have just gotten so insanely ridiculous, you know? To me, like the essence of kayak fishing is getting out on the water and having a good time. You know, cheap. Dude, it's killer. I definitely like it better than that one. No, no, no. Oh, I meant the, um, the PDL-10. Yeah. This is on bigger. This, this one's faster, too. This one feels faster too. I definitely like the, the Predator out of all three of them though. Yeah. And standing in it, I felt it was just as stable as this one. All right, well that wraps up the demo day, Hagen Coastal Outfitters. I want to thank my new friends over here for putting on a great event. Yeah, it was awesome. It was really cool trying out all the uh, Old Town kayaks. So appreciate it. No yeah, Problem. and you guys are on San Jose Boulevard. Yep, 12501 San Jose Boulevard. Sweet. Yeah, they got all your uh, all your boats and Old Town kayaks, but pretty good day, man. We'll get back to the house and I'll give you all my final thoughts on uh, the Old Town kayaks, which ones I think 
are best suited for me. But uh, yeah, thanks again, guys. Yeah, have a good day. See ya. And we're back at the house. Before I go any further about these kayaks, I feel like it's my duty to tell you guys, especially my non-subscribers, we are in no way affiliated with Hagen Coastal Outfitters or with Old Town Kayaks. Uh, there's nothing more that we hate, and my subscribers, they know this, uh, that when you go online and you ask for reviews, people drop their affiliate links and promo codes and discount codes and secretly their pro staff for that company trying to help make sales and get kickbacks. So uh, yeah, that is not the intent of this video and I'm not trying to influence you to buy any kayaks. This was m my personal experience going out and testing Old Town Kayaks because I recently sold my Hobie um, PA12 and I'm in the market for a kayak. Uh, with that being said, we do have sponsors, and uh, if we're using a product that we're sponsored by, we're always very explicitly clear to let you guys know that we're sponsored by that product and that we support them and they think that we're cool or whatever. But um, the transparency and honesty of my channel is way more important than me trying to make 15% off of a, of a sale or something like that. So anyway, with that being said, let's get in these kayaks. So I'm gonna try to go through these and talk to you like I would if you were actually here. Make this a quick edit. All right, we demoed the uh, Topwater PDL-10, the Topwater PDL-12, and the Topwater, or the Predator uh, PDL. Okay, uh, just so you guys know that, uh, you know, we're kind of credible. We have like 60 videos on YouTube of uh, most of which are kayak fishing, and I'm a huge Hobie fanboy, love Hobies. Uh, so we got a lot of experience kayaking. Anyway, uh, so a lot of my frame of reference is like basing what I think uh, compared to a Hobie. So anyway, we rode the kayaks. I'm gonna start from like the smallest one up to the biggest one uh, and what I would recommend them for. Um, yeah, we've had a Hobie Compass, two Outbacks and two Pro Anglers. Uh, just check out the videos, man. That way you kind of get an idea. We know what we're, what we're talking about. So anyway, um, Topwater PDL-10. Smaller boat, super light. Um, would I recommend it? So obviously kayak fishing is very subjective and there's different uses for all your kayaks. So not one like suggestion is gonna be applicable to everybody. But for me, I do inshore fishing and occasionally I do offshore fishing. I'm uh, 5'8", 210 pounds, I already said it in the video. Uh, so the PDL-10 is really cool because it's very light and it's very small. You could throw that thing in the back of your truck super easily. If you're fishing uh, water that's like safe and small, like for instance, uh, like ponds and even some lakes, if you're not going like way far crazy out with high winds, um, for my size, I wouldn't want to be out in big water in a kayak that's small like that. That's just my, me. Now, if I were using it, say for instance, in Jacksonville, Florida, at Guana Lake, uh, and it's always calm, the days that I go out, like a fair weather fisherman, dude, that's a crazy good kayak for you because it's light, it was very fast, very comfortable, easy to pedal, lightweight, uh, is, is good. If you're a smaller guy, it'd be a really good one for you. Um, and it had everything that you need on it that a kayak needs. I think that it's like one of the cheapest pedal drive kayaks also, uh, which definitely influences my opinion on sales. Like I could go out and finance a brand new Pro Angler 360 or whatever, but you know, I got family and kids and all that stuff. That's just not very responsible in my opinion. I would rather get a, a cheaper one. Would I love to have a Hobie 360 and is it an awesome kayak? Hell yeah, probably so. But uh, you know, I'm sure that a lot of you guys will agree that like not all of us can just go out there and buy a $5,000 kayak. Um, so cost, lightweight, small, is 10 foot, easily throw into the back of a small bed uh, pickup truck or on top of a car. Awesome kayak, man. All right, going into the Topwater PDL 12. Uh, I would say this is like very similar, similar, not like comparing it, like obviously they're different, but like similar. It's a wider kayak, a little uh, higher uh, off the water, 
than like a like a Rebo, if you know what that is, a Hobie Rebo, or a Viking kayak. Um, this is more like a PA, like a fishing stable platform. If you don't have a pedal drive, like an Ascend, I think they're called 12T or something. Like it's a wide body kayak that you could easily stand up in. Uh, it's 12 foot long, so it's faster and tracks better than the PDL 10. Um, I mean, it's like the the daddy version of the PDL 10. It's just bigger. Uh, I could be wrong. Write in the comments if there's anything that's like definitely different between the 10 and the 12, but I couldn't tell when I was out there. Um, yeah, great, solid, stable fishing platform. I would be freaking stoked to have one of those. Um, it was definitely faster than a pro angler if you're debating between a PDL 12 topwater and a Hobie Pro Angler 12 and going uh, faster, especially paddling uh, and like weight being a factor, the PDL, topwater PDL definitely smashes that. It's not as stable as a Pro Angler though. It doesn't have like the rod holders, all that Gucci stuff that like a, a Hobie has. Mm, then we'll get into the Predator. It's a 13 foot two inch kayak. For me, this was the obvious choice for me. Like I'm a relatively bigger guy, so it's gotta be stable. But this kayak with it being 13 foot two, uh, it was still very fast. And that's important to me because when I go kayak fishing, I almost treat it like a boat really. Like I don't really stay in the same area. I move, I'm talking five to 10 miles on every trip, like minimum, sometimes even further than that. Um, but yeah, this kayak, I was able to stand in it uh, and move around. I didn't feel any kind of tippiness. Like in the tent I did, I wouldn't want to stand in that with any kind of chop. But the uh, Topwater 12 and the Predator, completely stable, dude. Really nice. All the little extra things that the Predator had that the Topwater didn't. Um, like the... Um, starboard cutouts where you can mount all the stuff uh rod holders it had a forward facing rod holder on it uh the molded in big sturdy handle in the back uh it was just a beefier uh you could tell like it's their flagship boat which it should be but it's also their most most expensive boat um but the difference for me is in that kayak i would be very comfortable going way offshore in it uh on the channel we got some videos going way far out in the gulf and catching like cobias and kings and stuff like that now i would be very comfortable with my weight and size going offshore in the predator in the two top waters probably not as much i mean i probably still would that's unsafe but i probably still would um yeah, overall opinions about the Old Town kayaks, because they're they're all three very similar too. I really like the drive. I thought it would be kind of weird with like the bicycle kind of action, but actually super cool compared to a Hobie. I kind of mentioned it earlier that like all the Hobie dudes are like, you can flare your kayak. If you don't know what that is, like imagine this is the hole of your kayak, the bottom of it. The Hobie fins, you can split them. That way they're both like tucked up against it. And then they do this thing where like they're like, like barely barely kicking the flippers so yeah you can go shallower with the pedal drive down in a hobie no question about it but let's be realistic uh this is where the hobie guys are gonna get butt hurt dude it's easier just to pull the drive up and paddle at that point and my non-pedal drive dudes that have vi like vikings and um jackson kayaks and stuff like that like that's they'll tell you like a paddle kayak and a pedal kayak in shallow water there's not is not much difference really uh the pedal drive is just good for covering a crazy amount of distance so if, if that's your concern about the whole fluttering and shallow water thing it's not a huge deal or a deal breaker to me i don't really care about that at all um actually it's easier like if you go way shallow in a hobie and then you get to the point to where your fins are stuck between the ground and the bottom you can't pull the drive up anymore on these the drive comes up vertically so you can just pull straight up out of the middle of the kayak so easier um and i, I honestly think it was faster than the uh than the hobie but that's me coming from a pro angler like a, a rebo 13 may be way faster so 
Anyway, that's just my opinions. All of them came with transducer mounts, and I'm not sure about the two top waters, but the Predator came with a battery hatch already in the front hatch. The Hobie thing to do that is like, I don't know how much, it costs extra money. A lot of the stuff that the Old Town kayaks came with stock, you have to buy extra on the Hobie. So not only are they cheaper, but you're getting a lot of the upgrades that you have to buy on a, on a Hobie kayak. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to say. I don't know. They're, they were all killer kayaks, man. I would be super freaking stoked to have one. If you're trying to get into a pedal drive kayak and uh, you know money's a, an issue and you're on the fence between like a Hobie and a uh, Old Town kayak, dude, Old Town is just as good. There may be like slight little things. I know some people prefer the Old Towns to Hobies and you know Hobies to Old Towns or whatever, but the differences are so minor, man. Like, uh, yeah, if um, unless you just got money which I don't, uh, I would rather save a couple grand and get one and you, you'll be out there having fun just like everybody else. But, you know, I mean, I want a Hobie 360, dude. Like, that thing's freaking crazy cool. Yeah, so, um, yeah, awesome. For me, I, I would, if I could have any of them, it would be the Predator, uh, just because it can do inshore, offshore, it's faster, and it has all that Gucci stuff that you would expect from like an expensive fishing kayak, but. All right, I feel like that's uh, my opinion of it. If you have any questions about any of these kayaks, I obviously am not an expert about any of these things, and I always get these comments like, man, this guy don't know nothing. Like, dude, yeah, you're probably right, I, I don't. All I know is that I went out there and like I liked them or not. So if you got questions, write in the comments, I'll try to answer them. And then a lot of my uh, subscribers and people on my Facebook page and group, they ride for uh, Old Town, so they'll be more than happy to answer your questions. But with that, all that being said, uh, I want to finish up editing this video and uh, let you guys get on with your day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel. We do stuff like this all the time. Um, Old Town Kayaks, if you want me to do a super in-depth review of one of your kayaks, I'm all about it, man. I'll do more than an unboxing or like ride it around in a circle and tell you how awesome it is. I'll actually do a, a thorough review and use it and, and fish it and stuff. Uh, yeah. Later.